Hi guys! Ugh, finally! Oh my god, finally! I get to show you this project that I've been working on for so long. Honestly speaking, this was supposed to take only a couple of days, but because I ran out of rhinestones, I had to order more, and you know how it is with shipping these days, it takes for fucking ever to receive anything, so it took me about, I think, two months in total to actually finish this, but I saw this TikTok, I'll link it in the description of this girl who was bedazzling a soju bottle, and I thought, hey, I can totally do that as well, and I also wanted something to kill time, you know, just find myself a new hobby, and it was genuinely so much fun doing it. I had a lot of back pain to be quite honest with you but it was so worth it in the end so just really quick to tell you what i was using i used the regular soju bottle of like the original soju because i couldn't find anything that was a little more like funky where i could use color i ended up using four different types of rhinestones three packs of the green which were 3.2 millimeters one pack of the black which was two millimeters five packs of white which was 1.06 millimeters or ss4 i couldn't actually find the exact millimeters that it was and one pack of blue which was three millimeters the blue actually turned out to be a little bit bigger than I expected. I'm not sure why I ordered such big ones, but there you go. They actually did kind of end up causing me a little bit of problem with the drop. You know, it is what it is. I couldn't order a new pack and start waiting all over again. That would have taken way too long and I was kind of over like waiting for it. So I don't actually have one of those fancy wax pens that everyone uses to pick up the rhinestones. So I ended up making my own one out of um, like chewing gum <laughs> and uh, just a regular pencil. I didn't chew the chewing gum. I just kind of molded it at the tip of the pencil, but it did end up causing problems because the glue was kind of getting in the way with the chewing gum and then it was just a whole mess. So I ended up switching over to um, wax so if you have like bee wax at home i molded it to a toothpick and ended up using that so you know whether you have a wax pencil or just bee wax on the end of a toothpick i think it makes literally no difference i thought the glue was gonna end up drying clear but it did leave a sort of like a yellow tint on the bottle which was unfortunate but next time definitely use a different glue in total i would say that this took me about three days four days maybe i was super slow in the beginning but then when you get the hang of it you just kind of go and do it so what you'll also see me doing is they actually use the toothpick to kind of spread out the glue so that it wasn't too chunky when i was layering it on on the bottle I also recommend you buying larger white stones. These ones ended up being so tiny, I could honestly barely see them. I do wear glasses at home, I honestly cannot see anything, and this was kind of a pain doing because I was doing it without glasses. And they're just so, so small, so maybe get bigger ones. Even just for the sake of picking them one by one individually, it was such a pain.
The black ones also uh, ended up being smoky. I did have the option of getting like pitch black ones that didn't have a shine, but I thought it would kind of disrupt the overall look of the soju bottle because everything else was really shiny. So I didn't want the letters to look too dull. I have to say, near the end, I messed up so many times. So glue was flying everywhere, especially with the bottle cap. Infamously, glue and metal just don't mix. So you will struggle putting rhinestones on the bottle cap. Anyway, I got through it in the end and I just kind of left it as it was because I touched the bottle cap so many times and the rhinestones kept on coming off and it was a whole nightmare. But yeah, it was a super, super fun project. I really hope you guys try it out. It's definitely something that I might actually continue doing because I did really find it fun. I was honestly high key thinking of selling it, not gonna lie, but, but I'm also like, you know, this is a trophy. It's a token of my time and patience that I spent into this. So I think I might just keep it. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video and please enjoy the rest of this montage and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.